this is basically my crazy collection of Sega Genesis games. Roughly talking about a little over a hundred games, especially for the Sega Genesis. Also, I have Dreamcast, which is roughly about fifty, about fifty games, and I have the Nintendo GameCube, which is roughly about. 120. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but I've been collecting for a long time. I only have a couple of doubles for the Sega Genesis, which is the Madden 94, as you see here. And I have, a, as I pan over, which are these are the cartridges which are out of the box. And we go up, which you see a couple of Sega Dreamcast games. I have what about? A double of the NHL 96 and that's about it everything else is pretty much one no doubles everything pretty much has the inserts and everything that you can find inside the Sega Genesis boxes because when I do collect that's one thing I look for is to make sure that everything is in the box so, like I said, here is the start of the Sega Dreamcast games, which I love. You see, there's the web browser, Slave Zero, Ultimate Fighter, and so on and so on. As you can see, there are no doubles. has all the instructions, CDs, all the good stuff in there. So, I pan back through some of these Sega Genesis games. I'll go back over here. We have the NBA Showtime, NBA NBC, which is an awesome, awesome game. On the same line of NBA Jams, which I have, I have NBA Jams and a tournament edition for Sega Genesis. And we go up. Have Grand Theft Auto 2, which is kind of hard to find, especially for the Sega Dreamcast. Also have Urban Chaos, which is actually a underrated game awesome awesome game same line of you know kind of like Grand Theft Auto but you're a cop you can arrest people and do all types of crazy weird stuff pretty good game had it for the PlayStation 2 but you know I traded in my PlayStation 2 along with Urban Chaos so when I got the Dreamcast so you know what I think I'll find that one and buy it only downside with that game is got horrible horrible camera angles and as we go up to the Nintendo GameCube, as you can see, I have a lot, a lot of those, a lot of Metal for Honor, Lords of the Rings, Ghost Recon. I pretty much try to buy every single game, at least the first or second edition. Capcom vs. SNK 2, which is a pretty, pretty good, good, good game for, especially for this, you know, Nintendo GameCube or Love Street Fighter. Um, Bad Boys, <clears throat> funny, funny game. Had a lot of the 007s, a lot of the Sims, XGRA, Extreme, which is a good, good racing game for the GameCube. I love it. Well, you know, what can I say? Like I said, a lot of Medal of Honors, Metroid, which I really, really got into thanks to the GameCube, which I recently got into. Have it for the Nintendo Wii. Pretty good game, pretty good game. Got the NHL Blitz Piano 3, which is an awesome, awesome game. Love it. Got all of the Prince of Persia's. Really, really good game. Updated versions are good too. Red Faction 2, I like. I had it, like I said, for the PlayStation 2 once I traded and everything. I grabbed it for the GameCube. Rogue Ops, it's an alright game. Spider Man 1, Spider Man 2, which is one of the Best Spider-Man games. Spy Hunter Soul Calibur, which is a really good game. I like that game too. Also for the Nintendo Game PU. I played that a lot. You know, Star Wars, Street, Street Hoops, Super Mario, Sunshine, Incredible Hulk, Love Smashing Things, Bashing Things. Awesome, awesome game. Good game if you got a lot of rage out. You got a lot of rage, you want to play it. Get some frustrations out. Uh, it's a good game to play. True Com, Streets of LA, New York. New York has actually gotten got better after Streets of LA. Tube Slider and Turok. 
Well, like I said, that was just a brief description of some of my Nintendo and like Sega Genesis and Dreamcast games. Thank you.